guys, it's Kitty here with a new video. Yes, uh, this is a very, 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 very long due video. Um, so as you guys know, I am a big fan of SM, um, all of their artists. And so when I knew that SM was coming out in collaboration with Emart, a lot of interesting food, I have decided to purchase some of this food. I have all of these snacks sitting here in my room for quite a while now and I'm going to finally taste them. Um, some of them might be expired so I might get a stomachache afterwards but I haven't opened any of them so they're still like vacuum sealed so they should be fine. We're gonna find out. Okay, so the very first one that I want to open, I'm not going to taste it because it is tea and I kind of want to taste it with my sister. So, um, but this is a Secret Tea Story by SM Town. Um, it's really cool. I love the design. It's, you know, as it calls it, Secret Tea Story. So it's kind of like in a book. So I really do like it. And this is actually um, their collaboration with Ocelot, which is an amazing, amazing tea place. I went there with my sister the last time I went to Korea and they were amazing. I tried their Sejak tea. So amazing sejak green tea and so in here they give you little samples of different type of teas that um, corresponds to a different artist so it opens like this like a storybook which I thought was super super cute um, so we have a total of nine in here um, we had red velvet um, exo boa dongbang shingi um, this is Shiny, Girls Generation, Super Junior. No, this is Shiny. This is FX. This is... This doesn't really have a name for which one. Everyone has like a symbol. But anyways, Red Velvet is um, Red Papaya Black Tea. Um, EXO is Moonwalk. BOA is Vanilla Espresso, which is really interesting because it's coffee, but it's tea. So interesting. Um, Dongbang Shinki is cacao banana. I'm really excited to try that. Um, the regular one is Deju Orchid. Um, Girls Generation is Wedding Green. Um, Super Junior is Mild Green Tea. Uh, Shiny is Tangerine Flower, and FX is Samdayon Jeju Me on Tangerine. So I'm really really excited to try these. Um, I'll try it when my sister comes back but I really love it because it comes in like this little box and it's so adorable and I believe these are tea bags so if you open it it comes in like a little bag which I believe it's tea bag you can't smell anything but I like how everything says like SM in collaboration with also look so I thought that was really really cute and I can't wait to give this a try okay next thing I am excited to try I actually wasn't planning on getting it but I think it was on sale so I was like mine as well and I love chocolate so I got the truffles Dongbang Shinki truffle um, chocolate with cacao powder um, this is in collaboration with some and peacock um, which I am really excited about because I love truffles but like I said this has been here for a while now and um, I don't know I mean I haven't opened it till now and it was like had a plastic wrap on it and everything so it should be good I'm not sure but let's see let's open it smells delicious like truffles absolutely delicious okay the color is definitely like old chocolate but it comes in like this which is adorable um so they kind of look like espresso beans maybe it's just me but it's like these mini ones and they look like this so you can tell the coloring and the cocoa powder kind of already kind of like disappeared been here for a while but i will give it a taste and see i'm not sure guys should i be doing this probably not but you know it's chocolate right oh that's hard it tastes like old chocolate it kind of tastes like fake chocolate like you know how if you've ever gotten like the cho chocolate coins that type of flavoring so you have know it's been here for quite a while now 
I mean, it's not that bad, but not something I would taste. But I'm sure it tasted better when um, it was fresh. So to kind of wash out that kind of plasticky, nasty chocolate taste, I am going to try this cold brew. So this is the TVXQ Premium Blending Cold Brew by Some Cafe. It is interesting. I do like coffee. I've never tried cold brew and I believe because it is such a small container, it is really concentrated. So I think I'm have to go and dilute this with water and then maybe some like sugar or creamer because this is going to be really really bitter but yeah let me just um go get myself a cup of water first okay so i am back with my water and i have sugar here which i know it's not going to dissolve but i don't have any like creamer or um milk well actually i do have milk i should probably put in some milk but anyways um this has been here for a while like i said hopefully it hasn't gone back like i said i haven't opened it so I don't know how it's going to be but let's give it a try and please ignore my dogs are barking oh that's strong okay let me like shake it up I'm just like really scared so it's supposed to be I think like half half oh I should have taken a stir so I'm gonna drink it black and not add anything for now Not bad. I'm gonna put the sugar in. I know it's not gonna dissolve. I'm actually gonna put some milk in and see how that's gonna taste. That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty good. Um, I might have put too much milk, so like the coffee isn't as strong, but for some reason, I feel like I don't know what kind of coffee this is. but it has a bit of like this vanilla-y taste to it that's pretty good i like it okay next is this this is the shiny cereal convenient and portable stylish and simple food some market um i pack cereal what you can do is just kind of rip it open and then you put in the milk in here and just eat it like this as a cereal Ooh, it smells really good. I forgot, is there a flavoring to this? I'm not too sure. But I'm just going to taste the cereal and see how it is. Oh, it's so cute. Comes with, with a spoon. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to give it a taste. A bit stale. <laughs> Even though it is nice and packaged, but... Oh, it says it right here. So it's apple. Yes, it tastes like apples. Hmm, that's pretty good. That is cute. Next up, one of their first um, items that they did come out with when they started this was the Super Junior Super Bar. So it's kind of like a granola bar. I am excited, actually. Um, these things actually last a long time, uh, but right now it's been almost. I don't know how long, but it's been a while, so it's kind of getting there, but mmm, 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 granola bar, looks like a regular granola bar, looks like there's cranberries, some kind of nuts, mmm, definitely a bit hard, probably like when you get it fresh, it's like nice and chewy, but not bad next up are these they call crispy lavar laver lavar laver snacks so it's pretty much cv snacks they kind of design it to look like their um what is it love me right outfit that they had like a football outfit so yeah now you know how long that's been here um but like i say it's all vacuum like packed i haven't opened any of it so we're gonna see they all have different flavors Let's start with the original. So original flavor. We're going to see how it is. Okay, so as you can see, it is pretty much seaweed, but fried with some kind of batter on it. So that's what it is. Original flavor. 
but it's still really nice and crunchy. And it says 100% natural brown rice oil, 100% gluten free. So if you're gluten on a gluten free diet, you could eat this. This is pretty good. This is actually really good. Like I say, I haven't opened it, so it's still like nice and fresh. Bean. So I'm guessing it's supposed to taste like um like those fried green bean snacks, which I do like. Yep, it has the fried green bean taste, which I do like. Hmm. Next up is the onion flavor. Not too excited for this because I'm not a big. Ooh, it's a different color. Not a big onion type of person. As you can see, it is still the same thing, but the coloring is a little different. It's kind of um like it has cheddar cheese on it or something. Mm-hmm. That is really onion-y. One taste is good for me. Okay. I'm gonna leave the spicy one for later. So I'm gonna go with the black garlic. I'm excited. So far it tastes all like really good. Oh, this one has a different color as well. So it looks darker. That is good. Mm. Get the garlic flavor. It's kind of like what it, what it tells you, the flavor, black garlic. So pretty much it's like when you cook the garlic to the point that it's kind of caramelized. That's really good. Like caramelized, but like a little burnt on, you know, it's really good. Okay, lastly. Spicy pepper. This is what I am excited about. As you guys know, I love spicy stuff. So, this is right up my alley. Okay. You can definitely see that there's some kind of spice. It's not white like the original one or the bean one. Not as spicy as I thought it was, but you do get a subtleness of the spiciness. These are yogurt almonds or just almonds with